Just talk about Crystal, give her a shout out. So in my line of work, we often say that people see the glory, but they don't know the story. And you know, it's the same with my wife, Crystal. Everybody's really um, impressed and amazed that she's got this book published and that it's doing well, but they don't know the story uh, behind how that's possible. So I was just thinking about that today um, and wanted to give her due credit for what she's accomplished. Um, number one, you know, Crystal had a dream. She had a dream that uh, she would one day write a book. And she always, you know, she wrote the dream down. She wrote the goal down. She would always refer to it. And, you know, it's just something that she really wanted to have happen. Hold on, I got to turn this off. It's playing music. In uh, so that was number one was she had a dream. And it wasn't just the kind of dream that, you know, like, oh, wishful thinking. It was like an actual goal that she wrote down and would always think about and, and hope for. And, you know, and it was part, part of her consciousness. Uh, the second thing would, would be the, oh, my gosh, you guys. Like, you'd be blown away by how much my wife self-educates. I mean, it's mind-boggling. My wife is has been, for years, been addicted to self-mastery, self-education, uh, just studying and learning, every, devouring books. Uh, and that's that's new to me because I'm not really a big reader. Uh, I like to listen to things, you know, but same thing. I mean, she listens to YouTube videos and podcasts and books. And I think you'd be absolutely shocked if you... I, I mean, I'm shocked how many books my wife has ripped through, how much money she spent on books over the years, and she just keeps devouring them and devouring them. She's always saying, Sean, what do you think about this? Sean, hey, check this out. Hey, look what I learned. And so it's not like, you know, this book just came out of thin air. My wife has been devoting herself to study, uh, just very, very intensive study. And that's what she does. That's her recreation. That's that's her hobby. That's her form of fun. You know, there's a lot of other things she could do, but she devotes herself to getting educated. And so I'm so impressed by that. And then the third thing, and the final thing, would be that she is so consistent. I mean, I've never... Kathy Cooper, you watching me? I'm flattered. I'm flattered. Thank you. Um, wow, I'm really flattered. Uh, but anyway... She is so consistent. Like, I've always been so impressed with my wife because she's never been the type to be like, well, I'm going to, you know, go get the hardest workout for, you know, three hours today. She's just not that type of person. She's always very deliberate and consistent. She kind of just sets goals and makes time frames. She says, I'm going to work out every day for 30 minutes. And then she actually does at the exact time she plans it into her schedule. And she never misses. And it's the same with the book. When she decided to write a book, it was like, She'd put it in her planner. This is when I'm writing, working on the book. And then she's so deliberate and consistent, disciplined about doing it. And nothing can come in the way because, you know, it's almost like, wow, it's almost like she's employed, but she's not. It's almost like, you know, in, in our industry, we say, hey, if you want to get paid like a six figure earner, what, what actions, what, what would you do on a daily basis if you were hired and, and employed as a six figure earner? Do that. You know, don't have to be told to do it. What would you do if you had to work that hard to generate that six-figure success? If, if someone said, okay, I'm hiring you and you got to do the work, you got to show up on time, you got to put in a full day, you got to hit these quotas, and how can you do that without being compelled to do it or employed to do it? And that's my wife in a nutshell. Like she does things and I say, sometimes I sit there and go, you don't have to do that. But in her mind, somehow you know, something's clicking that says, I have to do it. I have to get this done. I have to devote the time. It has to be every day and it has to be at this time. That consistency, I, I find it so commendable. I mean, I'm so impressed. So I'm a little biased. <laughs> she's amazing though. I mean, she's just so amazing. And I don't think she gets due credit because she's so freaking gorgeous. And I've always thought that, like my wife is so gorgeous and that's why some of these other women are mean to my wife and it's such BS because my wife's not that way and she's never mean to anybody. But some of these women are mean to my wife and, and I really believe it's just because what she's got going on on the outside, she's absolutely drop dead knockout gorgeous 
And so there's a price to pay for that. People don't want to give you due credit. They think you got a leg up on them. They, th they think you have some advantage. But my wife has worked for it, guys. All right. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.